Hello everyone, Kayla here and this is What the Kink, a natural hair channel. In today's video, I want to show you how I lay and slay my natural hair buns. Let me show you guys this. This is what I call Kayla's favorite bun. There's a really old video that is unlisted of me showing you how to do this bun in like 2013. That's how long I've been doing this bun. I absolutely love it. Um, let me show you what it looks like from the back as well. So stay tuned as I show you my steps that I use for this bun and every bun that you see on my channel. begins right where my wash day leaves off so in that other video I was rinsing the conditioner out of my hair in preparation to do whatever style I'm gonna do so since we are now at whatever style I'm gonna do is a bun I start by rinsing that conditioner out now I'm going in with a cream I like to use the Obia curl cream that you're seeing here um, I'll link it in the description box in case you've never heard of it before, but I'm going to be coating my hair with this in um, kind of small sections, but I'm applying a small amount to each of those sections. So it has been a couple of hours since I last uh, did that last clip with me rinsing out the conditioner and so on and so forth. Now, I like to do my buns on damp hair. That is the way that I found that, number one, I don't have a wet center of my bun. That is disgusting. It smells after a couple days. No, ma'am, because once I do my bun, I don't take it down. And number two, the hair has just enough water still in it that I'm able to manipulate it and smooth it down and slick it and that kind of stuff, okay? So that's where we're starting from. However long it takes your hair to dry, be aware of that and you do what you have to do. So I will often just have my hair in many more twists than what you guys saw me do. I um, I did like chunky twists, you'll see. I usually will do twists that are a little smaller and I'll wear it down in a hairstyle for the day. But I washed my hair later than I normally would because today is just hectic. Um, so I wash my hair much later than I normally would. So I decided to put it up into this wrap and it's been in here for a couple of hours and hopefully my hair is still not too wet. Even if it is, I gotta roll with it because it's getting close to bedtime and I have to get out of bed at 3.30 a.m. tomorrow because I have a 7 a.m. flight. <laughs> um, and I couldn't get it out of the airport that's like right here. I've got, to, I've got to go into Orlando so all right so the hair yes good okay so you see what I did I did like two here two here um two here two here so I did larger twists than I would normally do um and they're wanting to come down which is fine that's exactly what we want to do so I'm going to go ahead and take my twists down and smooth them because we want to deal with smooth hair so yep there's still water in the hair but it's not wet you see what I'm saying water in the hair but it's not wet and I'm probably gonna adjust the camera angle because now my hair is not as high because I just took it down but so we want to do take it down and also I'm re-smoothing that product that's on there in case it wanted to like you know sometimes it'll like um bunch up in the in the twist so we want that product to be smooth as well um, I know a lot of naturals, a popular thing to do is to do soaking wet buns, but I am telling you, that center just does not dry on my hair. If you have lower density hair, it might for you, and that's cool. But for me, I can't. <laughs> for my fast drying girlies, you probably can do this bun a little bit quicker um, after your wash than I was able to do. Another thing you could possibly do is sit under the hair dryer to accelerate this process as well. I just don't want to be doing that, okay? <laughs> so, um, anyways... Now, I am, before I pick up any tools or anything, I'm actually going to go ahead and start forming my hair back into the bun. I almost always do a center part and I do slightly go down a little and then go back. Let that 
that middle part live. I just need it to look good through till the event I'm going to tomorrow. I'm going to a wedding and I decided to go, it's decided to wear more of like a spaghetti strap type situation. So it's going to be a lot of decollete and everything showing. However, however, friend, um, I'm going to go like with big earrings and like kind of clothe myself in other ways. So <laughs> I'm smoothing all of this down. Again, we're not actually doing anything just yet. Just getting it all to go in the direction that we want it to go. Okay. All right. And I'm going to go around my ears. This is usually where I go for the low bun. And when I go for my high buns, um, they're typically around the ears as well, but here, um, and I don't, I don't usually do a center part for those. I just go straight back because I mean the bun is the visual part. So I'm not going to look bald because the hair is up here. But yeah, I do the center part when I do them here. And this is usually where I do it at. So you can get an idea. Okay, cool. So now we're going to add another product here. Okay. So <laughs> the other product that I use is foam. So for this one, I'm using the Miche Set Gel to Foam Styling Mousse. I know that they typically advertise this as something for like curl definition and like, oh, you don't even need condition underneath and da 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 da. Um, I use it for styling though, like not a wash and go. I don't know, that's me. So I'm gonna apply this and I'm going to brush my hair again. I'm not actually fastening this ponytail just yet. I want the hair to be smooth. So let's apply it. Oh, we might have to do this in one hand over here. <laughs> So I'm, I'm like using the, the bottom of my hand to pump it and then the other hand, like it's like this. So this is how I'm doing it. You do it how you want to do it. Ooh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use the mirror over here. It doesn't take much because unlike other people, I don't put any product on the bun part, any, any of the, the styler product, which is why we use the cream to begin with, okay? That's why I use the cream. And I'd be missing around my ears. That's the first part to frizz up because I don't always put enough product there. I don't always catch that with product. So I'm trying to be cognizant of the ear area. And then sometimes, girl, I'll put a little bit of product in the, in the kitchen. You know what I mean? Even though since being natural, my kitchen is the longest it's ever been. <laughs> it goes all the way to the ponytail if I, you know, low or high. I don't have those kitchen issues I had when I was rela relaxed, so I'm guessing it was just breakage. Okay, so now I'm coming in with a boar bristle brush. Actually, not boar bristle. I'm a vegan. It's synthetic, but you know what I mean, a bristle brush. Everybody, every black girl got one of these. Okay. <laughs> All right. And I know the Hispanic girlies got them too, okay? I seen y'all back in the day with the slick, the slick bangs with the curly hair. I seen you. <laughs> I know you got this brush. Okay. Um, so I'm smoothing it, smoothing it, smoothing it. That's what I do. And so now, girl, it's ready. Smooth the kitchen a little bit too. So now we're going to go in and we're going to actually fasten the ponytail holder. I have options. Now, sometimes I will use this. This is from Scrunch It. It's like a little tool that opens up a little plastic, almost banana clip type tool meant for people with hair like mine. Um, there's also the puff cuff that you can use, which is similar, and it's a black-owned product. But I am going to just use the bobby pin and ponytail holder method. Um, you can also use those little ballies that you put on kids' hair and then just, like, hide it underneath the bun. You can do that, too. If you're really not getting what I'm doing right now, I actually have a whole um, YouTube short that shows how to fashion your hair in a ponytail with what I'm doing because people have questions. So I will link that, and you can watch it after this video if you need to see a like a, from the behind of my head demo of me doing this. But literally, just whatever way that you fasten a ponytail, do that. <laughs> do that, honey. It doesn't matter. Like, I don't even do my hair the same way every single time. Now, I'm doing this low bun, and I just realized I don't have the tools that I need to be able to finish this bun off. Um, but this is the base that I use for no matter what bun I'm doing, but I fasten my buns different ways. So for this one, I'm actually going to do three chunky twists and then I'm going to pin the ends under, but I just realized that I don't have the pins to pin the ends under. So, um, hold please. Okay. We are back and now we are cooking with Crisco. We now have what we need. Okay. So like I said, I just do three twists. You can just do your bun however you want to at this point, but, um, 
if you were interested in my bun like you may have seen it on Instagram reels or something like that and wondered how I did it this is how I be doing it girl boy friend all right so twist one these are chunky twists they're not gonna stay like that they never do all right twist two let's pop it in Mama, she a keeper. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Alright, and twist number three. Final twist. Uh, let's see. Let me double check, make sure I got all the hair. Um, if your hair is not as thick as mine, maybe you can do two twists just to get a twist that's of this size. If just one twist and then you like uh, thicken it out or balloon it out you know you just make it work for your hair now I will usually grab up the ends of these and you got options okay sometimes I I have been known in the past to put these in a ponytail holder like not a ponytail holder but like a a rubber band and actually I, I have some in the bottom of this container so I'm actually gonna do a little rubber band because that makes it a whole lot easier to do the next step so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I don't try to preserve these, y'all. When I'm removing the uh, pin, the um, rubber bands, I just break it. Girl, I'm not, I'm not trying to break my hair off. So now I'm going to take this and I'm actually tucking it underneath. Like so. And then I'm going to go in with a bobby pin. And I'm going to pin that part of the bun almost darn near to the ponytail to make it stay. And secure it and it's secured like that but I'm gonna do one from the other direction as well now my hair is much longer than it used to be when I was doing this style cuz my bun styles are old y'all <laughs> so I do additional pins to secure it so again this is totally optional if you need it do it if you don't skip this part but basically what I'm gonna do because what we have now is this and it's kind of hanging and it's like on my neck so I'm gonna push this up see push it up like this and then I'm going to actually do pins to secure it up higher than what it naturally wants to to be because my hair is bigger and longer see and let's let's talk about the fact that we have to modify hairstyles as our hair changes right so you can't get away with doing the same little one two step <laughs> that you were previously doing sometimes sometimes you got to change the hairstyle so they work with the with the hair that you have currently and so, uh, yeah, there we go. So now that's going to hold it up a bit. And I always have um, a couple more pins in my luggage. So if I have to do some more pins or something falls, I got that. Sometimes I do a couple rude, especially at this time of night, um, a couple more brushes over it. I will. All right. Okay. So I'm going to take my scarf and I'm actually going to use one of the sides. So this is a square scarf, rectangle square, something like that. It's been stretched out so long, girl, I don't know. So I'm just going to take one of the sides of the stretched out square and just lay that over my head. Take the ends. And sometimes I go a little bit lower on the forehead because it's going to move as I tie it. So I tie that. And I get it nice and snug. I put my head down sometimes too just to make sure it's not too tight when I lift my head back up. But getting my ears out. I'm not a person that likes my ears tucked. Tighten it again. Head down. And give it another knot. Boom. Okay. Now, now that I have that done... I take these parts here that are hanging out and I just bring them up and tie them in the front. So try to catch that in there so it's not sticking out. And then I just tie that all together and my hair is going to be smooth as it was when I just did it <laughs> tomorrow uh, at 3 a.m. 
So my hair might still be damp tomorrow. You could center the dryer off you set your bun. I've seen some people do like those paper tapes around, little paper things around the edges that they use at the hair salon with foam. You can do that too if you really want your hair to dry. But I just let my hair air dry. I don't really be worried about it that much because I've already air dried it prior to putting it into the bun. So that is exactly the process that I follow for every single bun that you see me wear on this channel, no matter the style. Um, stay tuned because I'm going to be doing a lot of my basic non wash and go hairstyles and trying to answer as many questions as possible about them. So subscribe. I post videos every week and I'll talk to you in the next one.